Good morning and happy Sunday. Today I'm going to address how extreme heat impacts our own mental health. And we all know our hot weather can be uncomfortable, uh, even dangerous at times, but it's important to understand the effects of extreme heat and it goes beyond just physical discomfort. Heat waves are becoming more frequent and especially with the intense moments of those heat waves, they definitely have serious implications for our own mental well-being. So I want to talk briefly about the direct effects. So high temperatures cause uh, heat exhaustion, heat stroke. These are medical emergencies. If you see anyone like that or you yourself are experiencing that, please seek medical emergency immediately. Now what you may notice if people are experiencing those, they may feel weak, uh, dizzy, and confused. And if they have any existing preconditions, it can exacerbate those things, such as uh, people with anxiety, depression, and, and even bipolar disorder. They may find their symptoms are worsening during those intense heat waves. And the discomfort of stress of being just too hot uh, can heighten our feelings of irritability, restlessness, and despair. Also, there's an increase in aggressive behavior and violent crimes. And so be aware of that, uh, that you want to take breaks often throughout the day. If you need to speak to your loved one, if it's going to be in an intense um, moment or discussion, make sure you're cool first before you have the discussion. Make sure they're cool uh, before you have the discussion. And uh, disrupted sleep. Uh, often uh, with intense heat waves, we get a ton of disrupted sleep. We need sleep. It repairs our body. And if we don't get it, uh, we have cognitive impairments. We have the mood swings. We have a general decrease in our emotional resilience, which we so need more during the heat waves. Also, vulnerable populations such as uh, the elderly and children, um, those with pre existing health conditions the impact can be even more severe. And uh, uh, lastly here, uh, people without access or consistent access to AC, uh, larger fans that are consistent, um, and those who work outdoors, um, they are disproportionately affected by extreme heat and um, the stress of not being able to escape it. And so we want to make sure that we're, we have our eyes focused on them and raise the awareness take breaks often. So what can we do? I've been trying to tell you little tidbits along the way. Stay hydrated um, throughout the day. Try to drink things that um, have electrolytes in it um, and eat foods that have potassium in it throughout the day. Uh, seek shade if you do have to be outside. Take plenty of breaks if you're having fun outside. Uh, wear breathable clothing like I am right now. Um, using fans and air conditioning can most certainly help. Uh, seek out cooling centers. Cooling centers are now opening up. Seek them out. Uh, check on your vulnerable friends and family and neighbors during the heat waves and maintain um, a routine uh, engaging in stress relieving activities, even swimming and those types of things are all great. Uh, meditation or gentle exercise and ensuring adequate sleep can also help. So as we continue to experience the more intense and frequent heat waves, it's essential to recognize and address the full spectrum of the impact because I want you to have fun and I want you to have safe fun, um, but I don't want you in hospitals either. So uh, we can stay informed, prepared, and that will help our communities stay resilient in the face of these heat wave challenges. And always remember, you are worth it. Lean into being the best version of yourself. Keep those questions coming and remember, you are not alone in this journey. Happy Sunday.